say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting That our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner wave or the land of the free? And the Welcome to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. My name is Raymond Williams, principal of Hicksville High School. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I'd like to recognize the members of the Hicksville Board of Education. President Phil Heckler, Vice President Brenda Judson, Secretary Carla Hone, Board Trustees Chris Amato, Kevin J. Carroll, Linda Imbriali, and Sunita Mandrakar. Acknowledgements are also in order for the members of our central office administrative team, directors, supervisors, and Hicksville High School building administrators, faculty, and staff. I want to thank the parents and guardians. This day and moment is as much yours as it is the graduates. The PTA is an integral part of the school community. Parents volunteer their time unselfishly to improve school and community. I want to thank our very own Hicksville High School PTSA president, Annette Biner. And now my address to the class of 2020. You of all classes will never be forgotten. You are by no means canceled. You are special. You are all unique. You are all strong. You are all resilient and you are all blessed. Although this has been a challenging year for you and our community as a whole, the human spirit is an amazing thing. This will not break you. And as you all get older and more experienced in this thing called life, you will realize that the challenges you face in life will make you better, stronger, and ready for other challenges yet to come. In other words, what doesn't break you will make you. I'm proud of you all. I present a class to the community and world filled with talented, kind, hardworking, caring, courageous, and compassionate young graduates. Salutatorian Allaha Nasari says, I know this is not the senior year we dreamed about, but I recognize that my story is not bigger than what is going on in the world. The district has been extremely thoughtful in planning events such as the senior parade and virtual graduation ceremony that allow us to celebrate our accomplishments while protecting the lives of those around us. Although this is not what any of us wanted, I know that our successes are not defined by the venue in which they are celebrated. 
Rather, it is the love and support of those around us that makes the moment. A few years from now, we will not remember the festivities and crowds we might have had, but we will remember the strength and courage we had to persevere through adversity. We will remember what it meant to have Hicksville pride and come together as a community. She continued by saying, as I might have mentioned to you before, my parents came to America in the hopes of allowing their children to live the American dream. My achievements and dreams were not just mine, but that of my entire family. And this is what pushed me to give it my all to make them come true. After all our dedication and sacrifices, my parents wanted nothing more than to be among the cheering crowds watching me to walk across the stage and give my speech. I dreamed about the award ceremonies, going on trips with my friends, and celebrating our hard work. These were the milestones I'm sure every senior has been hoping for since the start of high school. Class of 2020, although things have changed, remember, you still have the love of your family and friends. I want you all to remember that miracles are possible and miracles manifest when people like you remain strong and committed to improvement. You can create a better future. You will make this great nation a nation that looks no further than the color of one's eyes. You will turn crisis into peace and defeats into successes. You will turn hate into love and divisiveness into oneness. It will be up to you to build upon the foundation of the solid education you received here in Hicksville Public Schools. And with that, remember to seek first to understand, then to be understood. Take this foundation and build upon it. Your generation has a natural aptitude and knack for social activism, which one day will result in a more perfect people and nation. There is always hope for as long as there is life. The future, from my vantage point, is bright, even with current challenges. You are all the reasons why I love my work. You keep me hopeful, and I am so deeply proud of this special class. In the words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strengths when you go through hardships and decide not to surrender. That is strength. Be better, be great, be tough. Class of 2020, on behalf of the administration, your teachers, and staff of Hicksville High School, my heartfelt congratulations, onward and upwards. And without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce this year's salutatorian of the class of 2020, Alaha Nasari. Good morning, administrators, faculty, family members, distinguished guests, and my fellow graduates of the class of 2020. It is truly an honor to share in the intensity of emotions we are engulfed in today as you close this chapter of your life story. Class of 2020, we were born shortly after the dawn of a new millennium. We came of age at a time of fear and uncertainty. Our childhoods were punctuated by school shootings, fatal climate change, and economic decline. Our freshman year was marked by a tense political climate, and our senior year ended with a devastating global health catastrophe. Graduating amidst the coronavirus pandemic will certainly have enduring implications for our class. We may not get to walk across a stage or experience the milestones of being a senior, but our accomplishments are still cause for celebration. I am here today not only to reflect on the past four years of our lives, but also to ruminate over the imminent future. Hicksville High School is home to a brilliant class. We are emblematic of growth and progress. Nowhere else will you discover as eclectic a student body, as dedicated a faculty of educators, or as beloved a custodial staff. 
Here, there is diversity in talent and perspective that aptly reflects the successes of our school community. We have national and state champion kickline, gymnastics, track, and swim teams. We have a famed thespian society with virtuosic performers, a student government with powerful leaders, and a thriving music department of tomorrow's melodists. I take incredible pride in graduating as a member of a class that has inspired me to embody my own intellectual capabilities. Being a first generation student, I was forging a path that no one in my family had walked. The underlying parts of my identity, some of which appeared as potential setbacks, was not something students like me could wish away overnight. I started out high school on the reticent side, confined by my quiet nature. Self-doubt clouded my mind, and I was often overwhelmed by the all too familiar feelings of trepidation and nascent hesitance. It was only when I discovered my talent to shape words that could inspire and educate others that I truly found my voice. Tapping into my passion as a writer served as a launching pad to motivate and propel my success, earning me national recognition and placement alongside other high achieving students. Over the years, I have launched impactful nonprofits, community events, and an education program. I organized collection drives and manifested my views on social issues into authentic collaborative action. In discussions, I put forward my ideas with as much conviction as my classmates. I soon realized that not only was I being heard, but that others wanted to listen. At heart, I am still reserved, but in finding my potential, I discovered the strength I could only dream of when I floundered in uncertainty so many years ago. I learned so much from these experiences beyond the obvious. I learned how to lose and win graciously. I learned to enjoy the process regardless of the outcome. I learned how to take cues from other people but think on my own. I learned how to cope with failure and transform it into a lesson. I learned that true victory stems from diligence and persistence. And I learned that the strongest and most meaningful relationships are based not on indulgence, but on empathy and respect. The friendship and support of those around me are ongoing and something I will always cherish more than a success. These are the legacies that will create tangible progress that will inspire others to move entirely new ways forward. As long as we appreciate the complexities and subtleties of our interactions with others, I know with certainty we will affect monumental change. So each day, strive to make a new connection. Build relationships that encourage and empower others. Search for methods of communication through shared experiences to cultivate deeper, more fulfilling connections. To leave a legacy, to achieve greatness, is not to earn money and recognition. Your elixir to life is simply to leave those with whom you cross paths with a little more happiness and hope. Whether we are peers, friends, or leaders, it is incumbent upon us to help others. Today marks the culmination of our high school careers. For some, your next steps may have been determined, but many of you may not know the direction your life will ultimately take. You may find a new calling in the next chapter or several chapters down the road, or you may decide the direction you are going just isn't right and you will begin to follow yet another new road. On this road to self-discovery, do not be daunted by the possibility of getting lost. I challenge you instead to share your fears and failures, to become the catalyst for others to realize their capabilities and aptitudes. Class of 2020, thank you for a truly memorable four years. Thank you for sharing your empathy, your luminosity, and your humanity. Thank you to my parents for instilling me with a strong passion for learning and doing everything possible to put me on the path to greatness. Thank you to my sisters for giving me the inspiration to be the best version of myself possible. And thank you to my brother for making me want to laugh even when I didn't want to smile. Thank you to Hicksville for forever being my home. Congratulations to us all. At this time, I would now like to introduce Mr. Kevin J. Carroll, one of the trustees of Hicksville's Board of Education. Good morning. On behalf of your Board of Education, I congratulate each of you as you graduate Hicksville High School. I speak to you today, not just as a member of your community or as a trustee on your Board of Education, but also as a proud parent of a graduating senior. 
Together, we have had the distinct pleasure of watching you grow from innocent children into outstanding young adults. Through the years, we have spent much time together. We have traveled together, broken bread together, laughed together, and mourned together. We have shared your joy with each new accomplishment, and we have embraced you during your time of loss, most poignantly during the loss of your classmate and friend, Mutadi. Perhaps more than any graduating class of the past 30 years, you have witnessed the immense peaks and valleys of our society. We brought you into a world in the aftermath of the greatest atrocity born on our country's soil, a time of fear, anger, confusion. And seemingly, we look to you, our babies, for strength and inspiration. We owed it to you to move forward, to embrace each other in solidarity, to return to work and school, to regain a sense of normalcy. And from you, we learned acceptance. Fast forward 18 years, and what should be the most enjoyable times of your lives are marred by fear, anger, confusion. And once again, we look to you. We watch in admiration as you continue on with your lives, accept what you cannot control, and change what you can. We watch as you continue with your life's plans and begin the move towards college, university, the military, trade school, or the workforce. But today, your graduation day, I ask that you not focus on the last four months, but rather on your time here in the Hicksville School District. There was a young man some 50 years ago who roamed these same halls, walked these same fields. He put his thoughts and remembrances of growing up in Hicksville, in the town of Oyster Bay, into song. In one of his songs, he writes, do you remember those days hanging out at the Village Green? It is my hope that you found your own Village Green to remember, perhaps the actual Village Green, or perhaps it was in a classroom, on a stage, in a lab, or an art studio, a baseball diamond, football, soccer, or lacrosse field, a basketball or volleyball court, a swimming pool. And as you embark on the next chapter of your lives, it is my hope that you can look back fondly on your own Village Green. The songwriter Phil Coulter once wrote, in my memory, I will always see the town I have loved so well. Those were happy days in so many, many ways in the town I loved so well. For deep inside was a burning pride in the town I loved so well. As you look back on your time in Hicksville, do so with pride, knowing how pr proud we are of each of you. And it's my hope that you love your town as much as your town loves you. Congratulations, best of luck, and may your future be filled with happy days. I would now like to introduce my fellow trustee on the board, Carla Hone. Thank you. Good morning, students, parents, Superintendent Litzman, Principal Williams, District Administration, faculty, and staff. I'd like to thank you for the honor of allowing me to address the graduating class of 2020 on this most special day. I'd especially like to thank you, the teachers, and all those employed by this district for the important part you've played in the education of the children we're honoring today. And of course, parents, siblings, and families of the graduates, this is your day as well. Congratulations. Students, I know that this is not what you had planned for your graduation, nor your final year of high school. I know the expectation was that you would all have an ordinary year followed by an ordinary graduation. But that's not going to happen because instead, history will remember this class, this year, this graduation as extraordinary. You will be extraordinary. You will be remembered as the class that met the unprecedented challenges of a lifetime and succeeded anyway. Parents, I understand the mixture of pride and bittersweetness that you're feeling because my son is also graduating today. I must confess that I did have some reservations when I was first asked to speak, as my family and I were sure I'd collapse in a puddle of emotion before the 30-second mark of the speech. Well, thanks to the magic of video recording, we can do take after take until my eyes are dry as a bone. That reminds me of my son's fifth grade graduation from Lee Avenue, and Principal Stam had made a video montage of the students set to the beautiful song Home by Philip Phillips. We watched as the pictures on the screen told the story of our children's elementary school days from kindergarten to the present. Overcome with emotion, I locked eyes with my son on the stage and my heart seized with pride as he raised his hand to point at me and yell to his friends, look at my mom, she's crying. <laughs> 
I'll always remember that day and all the days since that I've been privileged to watch the students of this district grow into the young men and women that earn their diplomas today. It is my hope that no matter if the next steps in your adventure be close or far away, you remember that this place, this community will always be your home. So today, it's the big one, the day 13 years in the making. It is my wish as a mother and Board of Education member that you move forward, supported by those around you and empowered by what you have learned here. I hope most of all that you know that you are loved. Please also know that there are so many paths to being your authentic self and they don't have to look like anyone else's. I love the quote, comparison is the thief of joy. I've said it often to my kids and to myself when I need the reminder. In the saturated world of social media, it is so easy to let comparison with others steal from us the joy and pride that we feel in ourselves and our experiences. So easy to give in to the pressures of what social media thinks we need to look like, be like, act like, and think like. Please don't let it steal your joy on your way to becoming your beautiful self. Graduates, I've heard it said that you only live once, but that's not true. You don't only live once, you live every single day. And you, class of 2020, have already been chosen to live extraordinary. Congratulations. It's now my pleasure to introduce Hicksville High School's valedictorian for the class of 2020, Sejal Gupta. Good morning, Board of Education, Ms. Litzman, Mr. Williams, and administration, teachers and staff, friends and families, and fellow graduates. I hope everyone is safe and healthy. Congratulations to us all. We finally did it, and what a journey it has been. I want to share three important life lessons I've learned over the years. My first lesson was to create opportunities. I learned in seventh grade when I started going to a Sunday school named GGKLI. I launched an initiative called the Entrepreneurship and Innovation Cafe for kindergarten to eighth grade students. I was so eager to start something and just dove in blindly. I had no lesson plans, no volunteers, and no idea what I was going to do. Now I'm coming to the end of my fifth year, having learned so much from every experience, which led to running the Hicksville Gem program with a couple of my friends. Every time you decide to do community service or join a school club, you are creating new opportunities for yourself and others. Every opportunity has a ripple effect. I discovered a new opportunity to do machine learning research at Stony Brook University through the Entrepreneurship and Innovation Cafe. My second lesson was to invest time. This is how I learned that lesson. I would always sprain my ankle during my MMA training. There is no easy cure, so I wanted to research and develop a solution that would help people walk comfortably. For months, I kept failing. At times, I wanted to give up and quit. It was just too difficult, but I kept going because my dad always told me, learn to be uncomfortable. After eight months, I finally completed a prototype of my walking rehabilitation device personalized by artificial intelligence. Every difficult task requires time to turn impossible into possible. Winning games and competitions or performing in concerts and stage plays are only possible when we invest a lot of time. For example, in MMA, a black belt is just a white belt that never quit. My third lesson was to make choices. When I was in middle school, I wanted to be involved in every sport, club, and activity. As I entered high school, my mom helped me realize I was becoming jack of all trades, master of none. I had to choose just a few clubs and research that I could put my efforts into. When you are involved in many different things, you are spread thin, so you have to make choices. Explore many things, pick what you love, and stick with it. As we graduate today and start the next chapter of our lives, I want everyone to remember these three lessons. Number one, create opportunities. Number two, invest time. And number three, make choices. Now, let's reflect together. In Hicksville, we have made memories with friends that will last a lifetime. In elementary school, I met my three best friends, Somia Mehta, my fellow binge watcher, Tanya Bambra, my dance partner, and 
Vivica Jane, my personal painter. I love you all so much. Whether we are driving to Taco Bell or stressing over APs or just dancing out our problems, our friendship has made every day of my journey special. Also, I would like to thank Danush, AKA our homecoming king for bringing the biggest smile. Christopher Chan, who is caring yet sleep deprived. Nikita, who cheers for me every day. And Laura Munn, the strongest girl I know. My speech would not be complete without our high school memories. In ninth grade, we were the freshmen who attempted to master the water bottle flip and did the running man challenge with our friends. This was a time of exploration where we were just beginning to add activities, sports, and other skills to our toolbox. Then we became sophomores. We took our fidget spinners to our classes and participated in new dances like the Kiki Challenge and Floss while going home to play Fortnite. We progressed to the hardest year of our lives, junior year. Standardized testing consumed our lives, SATs, APs, and ACTs. We finished that year and moved on to senior year, the expected best year. We finished our college applications and boy, did senioritis hit. Late nights were not because of the constant homework, but rather the millions of TikToks we scrolled through. Our friendships and community have fostered in Hicksville and will stay with us for a lifetime. Thank you to the Board of Education, Ms. Litzman, Mr. Williams, and administration for making our journey in Hicksville possible and for arranging this unique graduation. Specifically, I want to thank Dr. Piscatelli, Mr. Cetron, and Dr. Powell for their help and encouragement in my research in um, and academic endeavors. Ms. Temps for being there whenever I had any trouble and Mr. Mediate for never letting me give up. I also want to thank my guidance counselor, Ms. Lasoya, for her constant mentorship and support. Most of all, I want to thank my grandparents, my parents, my brother Krishang and my cousin Pearl, my aunt, uh, my aunt and uncle, and my extended family, friends and mentors here and in India for their continuous love and support. Without them, I would not be in the place I am today. In the fall, I will be attending MIT. Whether you are off to college, the military, or starting to work, you are embarking on a wonderful journey because of the hard work you have put in to get this diploma. Our biggest life lesson has come through these past three months in these difficult times. Even though we have faced hardships, we are making history and creating stories that will last with us forever. This pandemic has shown us many heroes. Many of my fellow students have been working to support essential services, and I just want to thank you for your courage and support for our Hicksville community. I have faith each of us will create our own journey because we are dreamers, we are fighters, we are the class of 2020. It is now my pleasure to introduce Ms. Litzman, the superintendent of Hicksville Public Schools. Welcome families, friends, and class of 2020 graduates. Students of the class of 2020, you are the most unique graduates ever in recent history. You were born in the aftermath of September 11, 2001, known as 9-11, when our nation came together in response to a terrorist attack close to home in New York City, workplace for many in our school community, especially first responders and medical personnel. These Hicksville citizens gave their lives and every ounce of strength to ensure America heals and remains strong and safe for you and all of us. A decade later, you lived through Superstorm Sandy, a hurricane that closed our schools for days while most of us were home with no electricity or heat. Again, our first responders gave every ounce of strength to ensure we stayed safe and strong to return our part of America to normal. But this time, you became part of the citizens to help us heal and come together to rebuild Hicksville. Hicksville families looked out for each other. When electricity slowly returned, you welcomed others less fortunate into your homes for warmth, light, and an opportunity to charge cell phones and other devices so you could keep in touch with each other. These years, you were making memories at school, building a very special kind of character, born out of examples you were living through in unique times. This past March, our nation, our Hicksville community, again, experienced the unimaginable coronavirus COVID-19, which closed schools, businesses, and your senior year came to an abrupt halt. All those wonderful celebrations to be filled with you last year in school were canceled. You remained home to complete your coursework on a digital platform and scrambled to keep in touch with each other. 
First responders to Hicksville again put their lives on the line to help the sick and comfort the bereaved. And again, you were there with a special kind of character to look out for younger siblings, collect and deliver food to those less fortunate, keeping up with your schoolwork, reaching out to others in exceptional ways to keep Hicksville strong. I know this is not how you wanted to complete your senior year, but the lessons you have learned living through very challenging times have afforded you the opportunity to build a very special kind of character, deserving of a light so bright, each of you a shining star, leading together because you were born to shine. Your future, our future, is strong and hopeful because of the special character you have developed over the years, living and responding to every challenge thrown down before you. Thank you for enriching our lives with your smiles and perseverance. Embrace your new adventures with confidence. You have spent your early years building the character which will hold you Hicksville strong every step of the way, no matter where you roam. I would like to leave you at the conclusion of our ceremony with a song written by Dr. Joseph Famularo, a colleague of mine, and adapted from the music of Stephen Curtis Chapman. This song is dedicated to you, the class of 2020. You are our shining stars. And now it is my pleasure to present the class of 2020. Zaim Amir. Gavin Accord. Shana Adam. Cindy Aguilar. I would like to thank my mom, my dad, and my teachers without the help and patience. I don't think I would have done it. Eliana Aguilera. Gerardo Aguilera Dona. Puja Ayar. Misara Altai. Ferris Ali. Isabella Alomia. Luis Alvarado Flores. Ryan Alves. Aksa Ansari. Giovanni Antonora. Abhe Aurora. Ashley Arvello Mateen Asadi Zaid Asef Brianna Ash Mohammed Asif Carter Alok Raul Avendano Leon Marion Ayala Moreno Jacqueline Bates Sean Baker Alyssa Balletta Ashley Bamberg Cameron Barone Julia Barr Paula Baravecchia, 
Sebastian Bartolmi. Diraj Bawa. Carly Biner. Eric Benavides. Lauren Benick. Christopher Benitez. Janaya Berenson. Tanaya Bambra. Naman Basin. Vived Bavsar. Anjali Bomia. Nicole Baccio. Christina Bonilla. Danny Bonilla. Catherine Bonilla. Enma Bonilla Martinez. Joanny Bravo. James Brennan. Gina Brindisi. Dominic Broccolo. Laura Buibas. Hi, I'm so thankful to have gotten here. I want to thank Momika and Spiro and my teachers and everybody who has helped me graduate. Um, thank you so much. Zara Bukhari. Shane Bukwichio. Nathaniel Birdo. Christina Bussey. Jennifer Bustillo. Keiri Cabrera. Ivalise Calderon. Christopher Canales. Darwin Canales. Luis Canava. Juan Cantor Banegas. Jason Cantor Lopez. Nicole Karkach. Luis Carrillo Rubio. Jillian Carroll. Giovanna Carvajal. Cassandra Casiero. Ryan Casper. Tyler Castagliola. Marlon Castellan. Tatiana Castillo. Christopher Chan. Congrats, Texo Class of 2020. We made it. Thank you to my teachers, coaches, mentors, peers, friends, and family for helping me get to where I am today. I couldn't have done it without you. Taj Chanlat. Michael Cho. Arslan Chowdhury. 
I just would like to thank my friends and family as well as my teachers for helping me achieve what I've done today and beyond. Akanksha Chawan. Brandon Chavez. Sharon Chi. Kifei Chen. Eric Chavez. Yash Chahabra. Leslie Chin. Sarah Choi. Gunter Chow. Mani Chu. Susan Citro. I just want to thank my family for always believing in me, and I want to thank my teachers for always having faith in me, and I want to thank my college for seeing the potential in me and accepting me. John Clappy. Kayla Clark. Angela Cleary. Melanie Collins. Kayla Corbett. Alberto Cruz. Christopher Cruz. Kevin Colhane. Priyanka Dalal. Thank you to all my teachers, my parents, and my friends for their support. I'm so excited to finally graduate and start college. Congratulations to all my fellow graduates, too. Sean Dale. Sean Dalton. Kavisha Darji. Sean Davis. Andrew DeFarius. Emma De Jesus. To my teachers, coaches, teammates, family, and friends who have helped me along the way, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Emily Del Giorno. Matthew DePino. Arlinda Deva. Mansumi Daliwal. Akshit Diman. Ronit Diman. Alexander Diaz. Nicole DeGilio. Quinn Din. Thank you to my parents for working so hard to help me get to where I am. With their help, I've decided to study at Drexel University in the Physician Assistant Program. Congrats, everyone. Ethan Dong. Leonardo Dos Santos. Angelina Di Rosario. Christopher Ecker. Alexandra Echeverry. Stephen Edmondson. Abigail Edward. Sathi Shilango. 
Brandon Ang. Tabula Fazi. Melanie Fajardo. Walid Fakiri. Danielle Faria. Peter Finocchio. John Fisher. William Fisher. Alex Flores Melendez. Graziella Flynn. Adam Fuladi. Randy Fox. Irma Francia Escobar. Isaac Gallardo. Shaylee Guadalupe Gallardo. Stephen Gallo. Jillian Gambino. Sean Pierre Gamboa. Christine Garcia. Joseph Garcia. Osvaldo Garcia. Sonia Garcia. Jessica Garcia. Naman Gore. Anupriya Gautam. Dylan Ghaznabi. Jessica George. Nicholas Georgia Fentis. Sean Giordano. I would just like to say thank you to Hicksville High School for four great memorable years. And thank you to my parents and step-parents for helping me along the way and to say hi. And I love you to my little brother and sister. Class 2020. Michael Golubuski. Cameron Graves. Lydia Green. Blake Grossman. William Squaman. Maida Ghoul. Sarah Gallo. Sejal Gupta. Patrick Halkut. Sierra Hall. Hi everyone, I wanna say thank you to all the people who've supported me throughout the years. You've always helped me to dream big and I hope to make you proud one day. Michelle Hashimi. Congratulations, class of 2020. I know this isn't how we expected it, but at least we're graduating. I want to thank my parents, the teachers, my principal, and the whole school. I wish you all the best success. Wais Hashimi. Sundus Hayat. Yesenia Hernandez. Michelle Herrera. Manaya Hill. Selena Ho.
Nicholas Hone. Hey, class 2020. I know we didn't want the year to go like this, but it is what it is. You know, I wish you guys nothing but the best in college. I know you all are going to do great things. Charlene Hossein. Sumatra Hossein. Ricky Shao. Hunter Shu. Zaim Hussein. James Ayanara. Jack Emmanuel. Hey everyone, I just want to say a huge thank you to my mom and dad, Janie, Kimmy, Chris, Isha, Lucky, and all my teachers and friends for all their support throughout the years. Thank you. Sabrina Ingara. Sadia Ishfaq. Ashley Izarpate. Rishab Jain. Viveka Jain. Lubna Jan. Yamale Jean Lewis. Jacqueline Jurgensen. Noel John. Laura John. Brandon Kame. Hi, I'm Brandon Kame. I'll be going to LIU Post to study computer science and hopefully become a software developer. Ryan Kame. My name is Ryan Keem. I'd like to say on behalf of Class of 2020, congratulations. Uh, I'm majoring in Adolescent Education for LIU Post. Shayla Keem. Hi, I'm Shayla Keem, and I plan to go to LIU to major in Childhood Education and Special Education, and I'm playing for the Division I Women's Bowling Team. Georgiana Karapatakis. Kevin Carbonda. Mariha Karim. Zohal Karimi. Angelo Carnes. Jesse Cash. Diego Catan Tantaruna. Gerlin Kaur. Harleen Kaur. Harman Deep Kaur. Navjot Kaur. Navneet Kaur Puneet Kaur Simran Kaur Tanvi Kaushik Ryan Keating Asmatula Khan Sharuk Khan Anan King Katerina Kobitish Nicholas Kozerski Tyler Crom Power. 
Kyle Kuhn. Ashley Kumar. Ashley Maya Kumar. Jasleen Kumar. Lakshay Kumar. Parminder Kumar. Priya Kumar. Rohit Kumar. Sharad Kumar. Shivanj Kumar. Akansha Kundra. Jessica Kwasnick. Kate Labra. Jason Labrador. Samantha La Liberté. Peter Lamb. Vincent Lara. Tyler Lavornia. Thank you everybody for helping me get to where I am. Special thanks to Mrs. Tetron for being my teacher for 75% of high school. Kayla Lee. Kyle Lee. I just want to thank my family and friends for supporting me all the way. Rachel Lee. Rebecca Lee. Eddie Lamus. Tracy Lynn. Ashley Lisa. I'd just like to thank my mom, dad, friends, family, and teachers for helping to guide me along my high school journey. Tyler Locke. Hi. I'd like to thank my family and friends for always supporting me and for making this a great year. I want to congratulate Class of 2020 on all their achievements, and I wish everyone the best of luck with their future projects. Madison Lopez. Anthony Lopez. Braden Louie. Alexa Lukasiewicz. Ngan Lee. Kopika Madu. Daniela Madrid. Jason Mahabir. Uzair Mahmoud. Clarice Mancibo. Nancy Martinez. Catherine Martinez Guardado. Brian Martinez Hernandez. Douglas Martinez Ortiz. Ethan Mascarenas. Noel Matthew. Thank you, Hicksville. Kira Morer. Kayla McLarty. 
Rohan Marotra. Om Metta. Somya Metta. Adriano Mejia Moretta. Sabine Membreno. Sadaf Menhaji. Jose Mercado Hernandez. Caratina Meza. John Mikalakis. Jordan Miller. Melissa Miller. William Miranda. Natasha Mirza. Rawan Mohammed. Hicksville High School, I just wanted to say thank you for all the opportunities and achievements I have been awarded. I'm excited to attend Brew College next year on a pre-law track. Congratulations, everyone. Daniela Montano. Teresa Moritz. Cameron Moses. Laura Mann. Andrew Murphy. Taylor Murphy. We did it, you guys! Class 2020! I just want to say to all my family and friends, thank you guys so much for the support. Love you. Mohammed Hamza Mustafiz. Isha Nagpal. Alina Nakvi. Suraina Narula. Bibi Zainab Nasar. Allaha Nasari. So my teachers, friends, and classmates, thank you for the beautiful memories and everlasting relationships I will forever cherish. Hicksville will always be my home. I look forward to attending Harvard University this fall. Rebecca Noman. Michael Neofatidis. Duke Nguyen. Kyle Noonan. I want to thank my family and friends for pushing me along these last four years of high school and sticking with me. Sadia Noor. Daniel O'Connell. Leon Oldfield. Hi, I'm Leon Oldfield, and I'm glad to be graduating Hicksville High School in 2020. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, my friends, my family, my pets, my pet wizard, he's cool. Daniela Olecki. Sarah Polka. Anthony Pandolfi. Michael Panico. Alexia Papagiannis. Dylan Pascaran. Hetfi Patel. Congrats, Class of 2020. Thank you to Hicksville, my teachers, my family, and my friends for all of your support and encouragement over the past four years. I would not have been able to do this without any of you, so thank you. Brady Patterson. Charlotte Chaji. 
Hallie Payant. Andy Penaranda. Dylan Penzies. Isha Perways. Gio Pezzolato. Geraldine Pichardo. Devin Powell. Akanksha Prabhakaram. Nahian Prapti. David Pulgarin. Melissa Quijada. Charles Raz. Harkamal Rondawa. Hamida Reed. Brianna Reyes. Brian Reyes. Franklin Reyes. Carla Reyes. Louis Rabarich. Taylor Rifkin. Anthony Rodriguez. Edward Rodriguez. Julia Rodriguez. Mariah Rodriguez. Wilmer Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez Vallis. Bradley Rolf. Diana Romero. Sophia Rota. Jessica Rotundi. Anthony Rosario. Roger Ruiz Palacios. Cassidy Russo. Mary Rutigliano. Aditya Saha. Rohin Sahibzada. Robert Salomon. Rachel Samuel. Thank you to my friends and family for all your love and support. I love you guys. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Lisette Sanchez Martinez. Yvette Sanchez Martinez. Daniela Sandman. Supreet Sankha. Angelina San Giovanni. Maxine Sanguinetti. Tiffany Santa. Keftiel Santiago Ramos. Joseph Santoro. Gandari Sapkota. Gita Sapkota. 
Alex Sarafian. Tyler Scarione. Danielle Scarlett. Jeffrey Schlick. Michael Schmatz. Nicole Schreiber. Jake Seeley. Brendan Selby. Murtaza Shah. Fazaya Shamim. Ishita Sharma. I just want to make a quick video to thank my mom, my dad, Kanye, Blaidi, Ashish, and Mahak. I love you guys all so much. Thank you for always helping me out and always being part of my life. Malor 325, yay! Komal Sharma. Hey everyone, I want to say congratulations everyone. I'm so excited that I was in class of 2020, even though it ended like this. But yeah, hi everyone. I'm so happy. I love you all. Kushi Shergill. Abhijit Singh. Amrit Preet Singh. Arshnur Singh. Arspreet Singh. Babika Singh. Aisha Singh. Gurdit Singh. Harkamal Preet Singh. Jagjavan Singh. Jaspreet Singh. Karamveer Singh. Manraj Singh. Navdeep Singh. Prabhpreet Singh. Raunak Singh. Sanamjeet Singh. Shivdarshan Singh. Simarpreet Singh. Simrat Singh. Sukhdeep Singh. Danush Shiva Sankaram. Amaya Small. Michael Smith. Bavleen Sodi. Bavneet Sodi. Jaden Spychalski. Amanda Stockberger. Jacqueline Sullivan. Zania Sweeney. Nicholas Sysak. Samantha Sysak. Ariana Tabawada. Brandon Tamayo Sanchez. Momina Tanvir. 
Cindy Tello. Sharon Thandy. Rishika Thayavali. Eugene Thomas. Jetlin Thomas. Trevor Turbana Singh. Haruka Toda. Joseph Toro. Matthew Toro. Ryle Trot. Maria Uloa Caballero. Aditya Vagela. Ashley Valero. Jasmine Varela. Philip Vaz. Ralph Velasquez. Demi Velasquez Chavez. Henry Velasquez Rubio. Edison Velez. Francisco Ventura. Jimmy Ventura. Ryan Vecino. Walter Vidal. Jade Vila. Randy Viast. Angela Vizari. Akshat Vora. Anthony Volpe. Nikita Vias Joshi. Paige Walker. John Warren. Jason Waziri. Luke Weber. Hillary Wong. Julia Wu. Michael Wu. Jordan Wolf. Nicholas Wupui Vera. Andrew Xiang. Natalie Huge. Matthew Yule. Michael Yule. Carlos R. Zavala Zavala. Luis Zelaya. Brandon Zelaya Reyes. Nita Zia. Douglas Zimmerman. Students, if you haven't already done so, please join me in putting on your cap and gown with the tassel to the right side.
Now repeat after me. With gratitude to my school, with pride in my town, and with devotion to my country, I pledge as a graduate to cherish the traditions of Hicksville High School, as a citizen to work both alone and with others to improve my town and country. Students, move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. Now, by the power vested in me by the New York State Education Department and the Board of Education of Hicksville Public Schools, I pronounce you graduates of Hicksville High School. Congratulations. Be strong and lead. 
together.